Keeping our eye on that steady cloud covered development. This morning we woke up a little bit more humid and clear, but as the day rolled around and those temperatures picked up, we really saw the cloud cover pick up. And then as we make our way towards the evening, we're really seeing some of those storms push in from the north. And of course, there's a large storm developing over the Gulf, making its way on shore. Right now, everyone hanging out though, in that 90 degree mark, going to be making a slow cool down again tonight as those higher, more suppressive temperatures kind of push into our area. Right now, 96 here in San Angelo, Ozona is going to be sitting there at 97. Everybody else making their way down into that 80 degree mark but we're getting a good look at how strong this high pressure is when we talk about that northwesterly wind combined with the mountain breeze that kind of causes those clouds to dissipate towards the evening as opposed to uh, develop when those temperatures start to cool off. You're going to see that low pressure system really keeping a lot from making its way to the east, but that deep trough is going to cause a really strong ridge off to the west where we can see the triple digit temperatures by the end of this weekend. Isabel and I will keep our eyes peeled out for any of those heat advisories making their way into our area, but I don't think it's going to be that extreme like we saw in June, especially with those very impressive rain tolls that we've been seeing. Right now, the moisture track are really giving you an idea of how strong that storm is over the Gulf Coast and as it makes its way in towards the Concho Valley, it kind of gets pushed off by that low pressure system, keeping it more off to the east for the rest of the day. The front track are going to show you how those showers are really going to just stay around the Concho Valley as you continue to see them really just stay more up towards the north in Oklahoma and really stay along the Gulf Coast, even despite the fact that that low pressure system pushes in there and there's a lot of development off the west coast of Mexico. The severe outlook really staying around the Rocky Mountain Front Range right there across Denver, right into Kansas and Oklahoma. And then when we get a good look at the satellite, we're starting to see where those storms are starting to develop right up there in Wyoming and start and make their way down and then of course we're getting a good look at that development right off the Gulf Coast right now seeing as it kind of tries to make its way up into the north but again those northwesterly winds really kind of keeping that storm down there so they're just sitting there spinning with a lot of moisture making its way down in there with that precept seeing that line of thunderstorms kind of trying to work their way into our area we'll see how much they develop or don't develop as it makes its way into those nighttime temperatures because of the humidity levels and the dew points are sitting kind of more into that lower stable like conditions right now temperatures across the board we said everybody hanging out in the 90s. Sterling City sitting in that triple digit while we're seeing cooler temperatures to the south, more warm to the north. That's pretty much typical of this time of year. What we want to see, the humidity levels we were talking about, you can see where they're sitting a little bit lower. Once those dew points and the relative humidity are that far apart, you're not going to see a whole lot of conditions develop because it's suppressive. The future cast is going to show you how the cloud cover really kind of dissipate into the night and then we might see an opportunity for a shower or two, but that high pressure really pushing in towards the weekend, really going to keep those conditions drier and clear. So again, tonight, temperatures going to be dropping down to the lower 70s because of that cloud cover being so sparse. We can see those uh, the nighttime temperatures really release a lot of that heat tonight and then tomorrow we're going to jump right back up into those 90 degree mark but as we make our way towards the weekend that's when we're going to continue to see those triple digit temperatures where we're keeping our eyes peeled out for any of those heat advisories by the beginning of next week and that'll take us into the already second week of July where we're starting to see those temperatures really come back up into the triple digits dry out with our lows really staying up into the upper 70s and that'll take us in to the rest of our July. Stay tuned while we'll more up after the break you're watching KSAN News at 5.